I didn't know it was gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay guys, so we are now heading out to Morrow County. Apparently this is about 45 minutes away in Edison, Ohio, big white peak and a slant. So that basically means it's got a little peak and then the other side is a slant. So let's plug it in here and uh, we'll head out. This is barn number 73. here for a minute and chill I think I may have taken a wrong turn nice out here it's just really really windy all right guys let's get out of here I just needed to take a break for a minute here and get out of the car let's go find a barn You know, the funny thing is, guys, I think I'm in Knox County right now, and there is a Bicentennial Barn here, but I have it marked down as really difficult to find because I couldn't find it online. Turn even. left. So I'm not even going to mess with that one today. I'll make a separate trip out here to that one. And there's a couple other ones that are really difficult to find out this way. So, uh, you know, we'll make separate trips out to find those when I can put the time specifically into those barns because it takes hours on end just getting to a barn that you know where it's at and it's like visible right off the highway so these ones that are hidden that's a whole different story and they even could be non-existent anymore I mean some of them are actually painted over or knocked down I know at least one got uh, destroyed in a tornado yeah, this has got to be uh, Knox County. Every sign says Knox. And we just drove through what said Fredericktown back there. So, I think we are passing... In half a mile, turn right. I think we're passing through Knox County to get to Morrow. Had to pull in here it's a little uh 
cemetery off the road. Let's just take a little drive through here. Let's just get out for a minute and take a look at these things. They're all made to look the same. I hope you guys can hear me. It's pretty windy out here, but look, we've got Pennock over there, Swingle, and over here there's two more. Brown and James. I wonder how those are related or if they even are. I mean, if they're, you know, maybe that's just how the, uh, how this cemetery does it. Of course, here's another one up here. I hope nobody comes driving down there and <laughs> I'm in their way. I don't know if this is a mausoleum right here too. I think it is. And that's definitely different than those back there. I mean, this, yeah, yeah, it is. Look at the tile uh, roof on there. J.W. Ramey, 1893. Huh. Yeah, that old tile roof. I love seeing all the different kinds of uh, headstones in that. Like, look over here. You got what looks like wooden crosses. I wonder if these were kids. Derek May and Wade May. Hmm. There's another cross over here. James Hart. Looks like 74. Is that a 4? 74 to 74? Maybe that was a baby that didn't live. Well, let's head back out, see if we can find this barn before it starts raining yeah i was just curious about uh those mausoleums i saw those from the road and they looked pretty unique so all right let's find our way out of here it's kind of muggy out right now it's it's really hot it's like 82 right now but it's really muggy and you know i'm sure that's because it's about to rain so let's find our way out of here and go find this barn. Guys, I am in Mount Gilead, Ohio right now, and I just pulled up to this thing. What in the world is that? Somebody do some research and figure it out. There's no trespassing signs, plus there's that shady truck back there. So I'm just passing by, but dang, does that look cool. All right, guys, we are just a few minutes from this barn, so we ought to be coming up here pretty soon. What do I have this written down as? Moro. Big white peak and slant. That's right. So let's go find this thing. So I see one right up here on the left that's shaped the way I have it described. I'll bet that's it, but the painting's on the other side. just in case. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is it. If not, we'll keep going. Well, that wind is still blowing. Let's go check it out. This is 
it guys there it is I'm actually surprised it's a smaller logo than I expected um, of course it could have been repainted who knows this looks like it might be newer siding Here a little way and we can get a good picture of it. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's always fun when you find them. Just in time, too. Look at those clouds rolling above. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Morrow County Barn. Um, the guy did just come down from the house there. I didn't realize that was the house that actually belonged to this or else I'd have gone up there. But he came down and talked to me about it and he did confirm that that is new siding. And uh, I think he said his cousin is the one who painted that, uh, the logo again. And she just, they took it one slat at a time and then she painted it as close to the original as she could get. So it looks really good. So, all right guys, let's uh, let's hit the road here, see if we can't get some more done today before it rains. On to the next one.